you have a plane here A B C D. Okay, Let's label it A B C D. A B C D. And you have another line. Okay, let me use another color. A line going up like this. Okay, let it be E F. If the questions ask you to determine the angle between this line E F and the plane A B C D. So how do you determine the angle between the line EF and the plane ABC? It's actually very easy. You just imagine the light come from the top here. Because the question is asking about the angle between EF and the plane ABC. So the light has to shine to the plane ABC. And where is the shadow of this EF? Okay, the shadow of this EF must come up from the E, right? So if you uh you just image uh you just think like this. So where is the shadow of the point F here? Should be here, right? Should be here. So the shadow of E F is actually here. Okay, so I just name this one the E F. Okay, yes, the G this point. This straight line we call it normal. And the shadow of EF, EG, this one, actually we call it octagonal projection. Octagonal projection. So this is the angle that we want to find. This is the angle between the line EF and the plane ABCD. Okay, let's look at these questions. The diagram shows the cuboid. Name the angle between the line. Okay, we want this line. A, G and the plane A, B, F, E. Okay, we go one by one. A, G and plane A, B, F, E. Okay, where is A, B, F, E? A, B, F, E, right? So, we have to imagine the light come from the top here. And the shadow of this A, G must be here. Must start from A, right? And the shadow of vertex G will be here. So we just connect these two together. Okay, so we get the octagonal projection of AG. So the angle will be where's angle? G A F. This is angle that we want. Angle G A F. Okay, or you want to name it as F A G also can. Okay, now we go to B. Same thing. Uh, we want to find the angle between the line A G and the plane E F G H. So where's E F G H? E F G H, right? So the light must come from here and the shadow of AG must come up from G right but if you go to G H G E or G F so you just think this way if the light come from here where is the shadow of this point must be here right must be here so we just connect these two together okay here actually we have a right angle triangle right so this is the angle that we want so the angle that we want is A G E A G E or you can name it as uh, E G A also okay then we go to part C now we want the plane A D H E so here's A D H E and using the same line A G so we have to imagine the light come from here okay so the light come from here and the shadow of A G the octagonal projection of A G must come out from A right so if the light come from here where uh, where is the shadow of the vertex G here must be here right must be here 
So we just connect A and H together. Okay, we have a right angle triangle. Okay, so the angle that we want is actually this line and the octagonal projection of the line AG. So it's here. Angle H A G H A G. Or you can also name it G A H. The diagram shows the cuboid. Calculate the length of G M. Okay, you want to find the length of G M. G M is over here. Yeah. Okay, actually we have a right angle triangle, right? So we can draw a right angle triangle here. So let me draw it here. Okay, so this is G, this is K, and this is M. So we want to find the GM is actually very easy using Pythagorean theorem. We know that it's 7, it's 10. So GM is equal to 7 square plus 10 square square root. Okay, just press the calculator. 7 square plus 10 square square root it. You can draw 0.21 centimeter. Okay, so this is part A. Very easy, right? Okay, now we go to part B. We want to determine the angle between the line GL. Okay, so we want this line. GL and the base, ah, sorry, and the base GKMB. The base GKMT. So we have to imagine the line is coming from here. Okay, so if the light coming from here, so the, oct uh, the octagonal projection of GL must start from G, right? So where is the shadow of the the text L here must be over here, right? So this is the angle that we want. This is GM is the octagonal projection of GL because the light comes from here. So this is the shadow of GL. So let me draw a diagram first. So this is L. This is G and GM. GM is the octagonal projection of GL. So the angle that we want is this, this angle. And this is 90 degree. LM we know this is 14 centimeter. And GM just now we got the answer is 12.21 centimeter. Okay, now we need this angle. Okay, we use tangent, tangent angle. L G M is equal to D O A, right? Opposite divided by adjacent twelve point two one. Okay, then this one you just press the calculator. Then you will get the angle twelve point two one. Okay, shift uh, shift tangents fifteen uh, over. Okay, so you will get 48 degree, 54 minutes, 54 minutes. Okay, now we go to the next part. The angle between the line, same thing, GL, same line, GL, and the plane GKPJ. Okay, let me erase some. Let me erase it. Okay, now the plane is G K P J G K P J. Okay, the light is actually coming from this one. I erase this. Okay, now the light is coming from here. So when the light shine from here, where is the octagonal projection of L? The octagon. Uh, Sorry, where the shadow of the vertex L must be here, right? So this is the octagonal projection 
of GP is the orthogonal projection of L. So what, uh, where's the angle that we want? Angle between the line GL and the plane GKPJ. So this is the angle that we are looking for. Okay, so we draw a right angle triangle first, then easier for us to solve it. And I did a C over here. So this is P, right angle here, and this is L, this is G, okay, GL is a line uh, that mentioned by the questions, and GP is the octagonal projection of GL. So we are looking for this angle. Okay, so PL is 10 cm, we have 10 cm here. So what is PG? Now we don't have PG. Okay, never mind. We can find the length of PG using Pythagorean theorem. So this is J, this is P, and this is G. Okay, so here is right angle. JG, JG is 14. JP is 7. Okay, from here actually we can get the G, uh, GP, right? So we know that GP is equal to 7 square plus 14 square square root. 7 square plus 14 square square root it. You will get 15.65. Uh, okay, now we know GP is 15.65. Okay, I put it over here, 65 centimeter. So we want to find this angle very easy. Use tangent, tangent theta uh, PGL, PGL is equal to BOA, right? O opposite divided by the adjacent, which is 15.65. So angle PGL is equal to, okay, this one, arc tangent, you just press the calculator, 15.65. Okay, so 10 over 15, shift tension. Okay, so the answer is 32 degree 35 minutes. 32 degree 35 minutes. Okay, very easy, right? We will build a model of a right prism as shown in the diagram. Calculate the angle between the line FH and the base and the base FLPT. Okay, this is FH. Now the plane mentioned by the question is F L P T, right? So the light must come from here. Okay, so just imagine. When the light comes from here, where is the shadow of FH? Definitely will come out from F, right? And where is the shadow of the vertex H? Must be here, right? Must be here. Okay, it means that we are looking, uh, sorry. So this is the octagonal projection of FH. Okay, let me label it as uh, BQ. I just label it as R. Huh? Okay, so this is R. Okay, so FR is the octagonal projection of FH. So and this is the angle that we want. Okay, I draw a right angle triangle first. So this is H, this is R and F. Okay, we are looking for this angle. So if you want to name this angle, you can actually name it as HFL. It's the same thing as HFR. Okay, so we want to find this angle. Uh, HR is 10 cm. This is 10 cm. FR. FR is not 12. FL is 12. And here taken 4. Here is 4. And here is 4, so we know that here is actually 8, right? 
Okay, we use tangent again. Tangent theta is equal to B O A. Okay, press the calculator. Arc tangent then over A. Okay. Okay, you will get 51 degree 20 minutes. Okay, so this is the answer for A. Now we go to B. The length of LW. Okay, LW. Let me draw it first. LW is here. Okay, this is LW. Hmm. So if you want to find this length, I think I need a right angle triangle. Okay, I draw a right angle triangle here. Okay, so I have the LP, right? If I want to find LW, I need WP. WP. So how to find the WP? So this is Q, uh, this is W, this is P, 10 cm, 4 cm. So you want to find WP very easy. 4 square plus 10 square, square root. Okay, so 16 plus 100. Okay, here you will get ten point seven seven. Okay, WP is ten point seven seven. So you I want to find LW. Okay, I think this one I just uh, to be more accurate. I don't want to round off with this. I just give the answer in square root form. So it will be one one six. Okay, so now here we know it's square root 116. Okay, so now I have another right angle triangle. This is W, this is P, and this is L. We are looking for LW here. WP, we know this is square root 116, and this is 18. Okay, just now that I don't want to draw it because when I want to find LW, right? So I will take 18 square plus square root 116. I need to square it back. So this actually will cancel up this square. Okay. So 18 square plus 116. Square root 8, we will get 20.98. 20.98 centimeter. Okay, now we have the length of LW, 20.98. Okay, the last part, the angle between the line LW and the plane PQWT. Okay, where is PQWT? P, Q, W, okay, here is D. Okay, P, Q, W, T, so the light must come from here. L, W, the shadow of L, W must come out from W, right? So if the light comes from here, where is the shadow of the vertex L here? Must be here, right? Okay, so this is actually the octagonal projection of L, W. So... The angle that we need to find is actually here, this angle. Tangent. Okay, use tangent again. Tangent angle LWP. LWP is equal to 18 over square root 116. Okay, so angle LWP is equal to Okay, this one you just press the calculator. So 
59 degree 6 minutes. Okay, so we settle these questions. Okay, so for this video, I'll just stop here. See you again in the next video. Bye-bye.